We thought it would be tight. Uh, it turned out, as it's already been uh, recounted, to be a tie up in Brisbane. And I'm not sitting at Alan Davidson's table, but you mentioned that Alan became the first player in the history of the game in that match to make a hundred runs and take ten wickets. If I were to be sitting with Alan today, he would have only mentioned to me 26 times already <laughs> that that was the most ridiculous call for a run out, where he was run out, the most ridiculous call he's ever seen in his life. And what's more, he's quite right. It needed Joe Solomon to throw down the stumps as he did a little later on to get the tie. But we did have a wonderful match there. It wasn't just a tie, it was a terrific game of cricket and everyone played their part. Frankie Worrell's model was capital S, capital I, capital A. He was that sort of person. He was the most marvellous player to play against. His team uh, responded the same as we did with Richie. We had the two best captains at that time to play the most wonderful cricket. And because of it, we had an attitude, and also because of the fellow called Sir Donald Bradman, who told us we could play the way we wanted to play. And he let us play our natural country. Um, it was an amazing thing, and the run out was, okay, that happened. I must admit, when I got back to the dressing room, I took the pads off, and then there was a progression of different things that happened in the next few hours, or the next over and a half. And I can still remember sitting there, I'd just taken the pads off, I hadn't even done anything else, but I'd really got the poos, and with everything. And, and then all of a sudden, Sir Ronald came in and said, today you've made history, it's wonderful, wonderful, fantastic. You know, a tie, a tie test. On the dismissal of Richie Benno, Ian Meckiff comes to the crease. Now, Ian, I just want to ask you, how were you feeling at this point? Terrified, thank you. <laughs> uh, it was quite frightening. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, I, I wasn't a very good batsman coming in at a second last. Um, I almost feel like an imposter being here right now, to be quite honest with you, because I took one for, one for 151 and that was a full toss. Sobers, Sobers was very tired after making 132. I made four run out in the uh, in the first innings and two run out in the second. So I really do feel like an imposter, but let's be honest, um, I'm very happy to be here. We love you being here, Ian. Let's pick it up. What what was the feeling for you guys that weren't out of this? In many ways, shock. We we had that match won. It seemed suddenly that it was going to be taken away from us and I think that made it even more tense and uh, there may have been certain circumstances but, you know, it was, the stage was reached where everyone was sitting in one seat, they weren't allowed to move, the usual thing, but I think above all what came through was the, uh, the great spirit by both teams and even though, you know, it was a tie, it may well have been the best result because it set the series off.